You know, I'm the type of person, I still wish on rainbows. Even if I'm driving, I see a rainbow, I'm going to stop. I'm going to make my wish. I'm the kind of person that really prefers waking up in the morning, stepping outside, seeing those big fluffy clouds that are so gorgeous and the sun beaming down. If I had my way every single night, this is how I would end my night with a big plate of chocolate chip cookies, cold milk, sitting with my grandparents who have passed on and just enjoying every minute of it. You know, if it were up to me, every person that I met would have my best interest at heart. I would have their best best interest at heart and we would do a high five and go on our merry way. And the problem with that, as lovely as that those concepts are, um, it, it does not, it's not a reflection of how the world works, how things really are. And I think at times we don't examine ourselves clearly and make adjustments because we feel like, well, that's going to be contradictory to who and what I really am. You can be, you know, th- there are many things that can be true at the same time. You know, you can be lovely and kind and believe in your rainbows and your unicorns and at the same time embrace embrace some of the unpleasant truths that our world and our lives present us with. And when I think about how people get manipulated and how I have uh, been manipulated in the past, it's for one reason, not being willing to face the unpleasant truths. And we have to get out of that. This is good work. This is the work of life. Because when you have the courage to face those unpleasant truths, the BS quotient gets wiped out. It's like, I'm not going to BS myself or anyone else because I can look at this and I can deal straight up. And you don't play those games that leave you wide open, wide open uh, to be hurt, manipulated, taken advantage of. I was working with a man some time ago, 67 years old, and his entire life savings, what he'd worked for. He had wired it to a woman overseas that he never met. And he's not going to recover that money. He's not going to recover that money. I mean, he basically was scammed. And I asked him, he's going to have to go back to work and work. I don't know. I don't think he'll ever recover it, but he's definitely going to go have to go back to work just to pull in ends meet. And I asked him, what, what unpleasant truth were you not willing to face that left you open for this. And he said, you know, hindsight, I have to tell you, I just didn't want to face life alone. Even though it, you know, it wasn't right. I hadn't met her. The phone calls were a form of companionship. Now, what if he had said, you know what, I have to face some harsh realities. I'm by myself in this house. I don't like it. I really don't. But what can I do to potentially secure some level of companionship, make it as comfortable for myself, as easy a life as it can possibly be and hold on to my life savings? How would his situation look? It would be a totally different story. So there are times that we place our head in the sand to our own detriment. And I have to tell you that the temporary gain or what we may experience as temporary pleasure is not worth, I have not seen it be worth the fallout of when the rubber meets the road. I encourage you, I encourage you to make a list, make a list, become familiar with with the things, why for, you don't have to wallow in the list, but make a list of the things that are unpleasant to you so you can be on your guard. These are the things I really don't like to look at in life. But if I don't look at them and I don't come to some uh, form of acceptance that this is also a reality, this is going to leave me wide open because when we're walking blind, With blinders on, that's when you make bad choices. That's when people get to come into your life and do things that they never had any business doing. If you weren't asleep at the switch, if you weren't asleep at the switch. So again, again, how people get manipulated is not being willing, being unwilling to face unpleasant truths. Don't let it happen to you. Thank you so much. This has been Inspirational Shorts with Sheila. I'll connect with you soon.